friends, Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel. I am once again working in my pocket art challenge project. I have my prompts and I am on week three, which is collection. Now in my previous video, I had talked about a plan of what I was gonna do for collection. And uh, quite honestly, I can't even find the photo right now that I had talked about, but it was basically a photo of books um, and I had talked about highlighting the fact that I you know over the years kind of collect books if you will um, because I like to write read series so I th thought I would highlight that however since I had printed that photo and talked about that I have really um, kind of settled on a different path so this is what I'm actually going to do for collection. This is a photograph of a collection of rocks and um, little tiny bits of driftwood that I have collected on vacations over the last couple of years. So on the backs of most of these little rocks and also on, well, at least this piece of driftwood, I usually write on there the date of the trip and the location. Many of these are from the Lake Superior area. Um, if not probably all of them. And so Lake Superior is gonna be, this is the state of Minnesota. Uh, this is made out of wood. Um, a friend of mine makes these and I love this. And it's right about in here. And then Wisconsin would be here and right along the South Shore is where pretty much most of these have come from. Now I know we're not supposed to probably take the rocks. I will say they're very small and I usually don't let my kids take them, but Mm, there's my confession. I do take rocks with me from trips. So that's my collection. I don't do seashells from Florida or anything else like that because I never go anywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought I would highlight this collection of rocks. To pair with that, I thought it would be really fun to do some sort of shaker card or shaker pocket or, or something. And now here's another confession. I also have a jar of dirt um, or sand as it were. This is sand from Lake Superior. So um, originally I am from the North Shore area um, in the fact that I was born up there. I wasn't raised there. I was raised in Minneapolis, but my grandparents lived in Two Harbors, Minnesota my whole entire life all the way into my adulthood. And so I spent many, many summers there. I still love going there, my best friend. And I absolutely love going there anytime we can. Our husbands enjoy it. We do many trips to the North Shore. Um, it is just absolutely beautiful. So that is what I really wanted to capture in this. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna give it a try. So let's see where we're at in this project. I also should mention that it's March and I'm just working on week three. So this hasn't gone exactly how I had planned, but January was incredibly busy and February just whizzed by and now we are into March and uh, I finally have some time and space to be crafty. So I'm going to try to pump out a whole bunch of weeks here in the next couple of days. I'm on spring break from the school I work at. My girls are home. So we're going to just hunker down, have a staycation, catch up on all the things that we haven't been able to do because life has been bonkers. So that's where I'm at. Now again, I'm working on the back side of this page here. This is two three by fours and a four by six, the back side of my week two, which again was color and I chose pink. So I made it easy on myself. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything to this photo. I think I wanna keep it nice and clean and plain. So that is just gonna get tucked right inside here. And then I'm really only gonna be working on two spaces. So this is gonna go well, in theory, it's gonna go quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out so I can work on just the page I need and get rid of this book, move it aside. To help me make this shaker pocket contraption, which I, again, I'm not sure, entirely sure how this is gonna go, um, I am gonna use my fuse tool. So I've got it heating up, I can tell it's getting warm. So that, that takes a while to heat up, so I've, I already had that plugged in. So now I just need to work on these two spaces. So I'm going to take this photo out actually and just kind of 
leave it on top so I can work and let's see where this takes me okay so I need I need some paper here for my three by four so I'm gonna go into my three by four cards that I already have pre-cut and I think I want to keep this on the cooler side um, because this picture is white with the kind of cooler tones of the grays in the rocks even the pinks while they're kind of a warm pink the whole tone of the photo is more on the cooler side so I kind of want to keep it that way um, I could end up maybe bringing in some very cool light pink but I feel like this book is going to be pretty much pink dominated so I think I'm going to stay away from that so if I'm looking at blues um, this is actually kind of cool it kind of reminds me of almost like a slate um, so that is kind of neat and let's see what else we've got here um, I have quite a few duplicates mm, that brings in some yellow I don't think I want to go down that road that is too purpley so maybe we're moving into these do not want to separate these are thick ooh ooh ooh, ooh. this is pretty Kind of reminds me of water okay so let's take that out and let's put that in oh i like that okay do i have oh look at this i wonder if i can make it super simple on myself what i'd really like is for this to kind of look like one piece i'm in fact i wonder if the other piece to this is in my four by six because that might be the road to go let's see what we got here wait uh bypass the blue there isn't a whole lot of blue in here here we go let's see if i can't find that no no uh i don't think so hmm huh. Ooh, that's kind of neat that kind of makes me think of a map which is reminiscent of or I don't know if that's the right word to use but makes me think of the fact that this is all about traveling and vacations and trips oh okay now I gotta think I did have one other piece that I thought about bringing in and that is when I was going actually when I was looking for my fuse tool I set the paper aside for a second. I think I have an idea of where I'm going with this and it's gonna be one of these two papers. So let's set these aside and I will share with you. Oh, I got a mess over here. When I was looking for my fuse tool, I was, I came across um, a piece of book paper. And I also thought that that kind of looked cool with the cleanness and the whiteness that's the right word um, of this photo and then maybe bringing in this kind of vintagey book paper because that brings out the warmer tones so that was why I was like I don't know which direction to go warm or cool and now that I have that together I don't know what to do what other papers do I have if I go warm this kind of works with warm hmm I like that I don't really see this color in here but I do like it versus that that is too that contrasts too much that would have to go and that would then stay but I'm not sure how the sand is gonna work against that I think we're gonna go with the warm tone okay I am gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys as I work through this because otherwise you'll just listen to me talk out loud and talk through my thought process um, as I have said in the last couple videos I'm not sure if I'm just gonna have music or edit out a bunch of this or talk through it on over vo voiceover we'll see what uh, edit Kelly decides to do so <laughs> let me go ahead and start playing with this paper
So I have come to a bit of a dilemma. When I got my fuse tool out, I was thinking that I was just gonna use a clear pocket and stick some of the sand in, but then when I, oh, I'm st I got stuff stuck to me from this book paper. Gluing that down was <laughs> challenging. Um, at any rate, I, in my head, I was thinking, oh, I'll get my fuse tool out because I'll stick some sand in there and I'll fuse it at the top. But when I pulled this out of my book, I realized there's a backing to it. So then I realized, oh, I'll have to put a backing down. Now I don't know that I need my fuse tool unless I just simply stick this in and then put some sand over it and then have to fuse it shut. But that's not gonna work because I have the two cards in there. So what am I gonna do here? I could, I could end up doing something where I may get a two page spread um, but I'm really hoping when I get to week four, I can change up the style of page. So I kind of don't want to do that. I want to do something different when I get to that. So my other option is to not use my fuse tool, which is a bummer because I got it out and I heated it up. But I also have this mounting tape that I had pulled out and I could just make like a small, um, card of some sort or a shaker card. If I did that, I would want to cover the mounted tape with some other paper. Hmm. What to do? Let's see here. Um, boy, it'd be kind of cool if I had some sort of wood grain paper, which I did use in the beginning of, I must have some somewhere because I used some wood grain for my title page. So let's see if I have any back here. No, where would I have stuck that? Maybe that was an off cut. Well, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I don't know where that wood grain paper went, which I'm sure I can find something to make it work. I also have all of these scraps. Maybe I could find something in here. Oh, that would be wood grain right there. So if I pull out some wood grain, kind of make a little shaker card, and maybe do a turn. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna tackle this one. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna come back when I figure it out and I'll play around for a few minutes, but I'm not gonna make you guys endure that. Or maybe I will. Again, edit Kelly will make that decision, but let me brainstorm for a few minutes and see what I can come up with. Okay, I dug around a little bit and I found some things. So I have an idea now. I keep a lot of stuff for junk journaling and one of the things I found is this map from a resort up on the North Shore, Lake Superior, that we often go to. And I thought, oh, this might work. And when I flipped it over, it kind of has this really cool handwritten little map thing. And I thought, oh, this would be actually really cool if I cut this out in a four by six and put it into a clear pocket. And then I could fuse it shut with a little bit of sand. And the sand will kind of rest at the bottom. But I thought that would be a really cool way for me to keep this map which is kind of a you know a keepsake and use it i also grabbed out another pocket protector page um, thing it's two three by fours so i thought okay i could maybe cut it in half and just use one or do do two i could do the map on one side or one half and then some sand in the top but i really like that the four by six is going to capture really the entire area roughly that um, this is all from. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I also found a Kit Kat. So that was cool. I'll be enjoying that later. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. And then I'll probably just walk through the fuse tool portion 
um, just in case you're curious how that works or want to watch me blunder through it because <laughs> I don't use it very often, uh, we'll do that together. So let me go ahead and work on this for a little bit more and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to fuse it all shut. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting there. So now I have the map and I, I marked it all off and then I realized I was gonna cut off some of my marking so that was silly. I had to kind of go back and redo some of it um, but it worked out fine. So I left a little bit at the top here because that's where I'm gonna fuse it shut so I didn't want the paper to be in the way. And then I was trying to decide what to do on the back but I've decided I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I like it, I don't really see any need to put anything over it um well depends i suppose on what the next one's going to be so what is the next week the next week is verse quote or lyric uh so i'm not going to worry about it it doesn't really matter it's my book it can look however i want it to okay so i'm going to move this aside actually i want to figure out what this is going to look like i suppose before i finish this um and i have i have this page of uh labels and I was thinking that would be a nice tie-in with the wood. Um, it brings in that wood grain that I talked about. So I was thinking I'll probably cut one out and just stick it right over there and then maybe embellishment or something like that. So that's, I think once I get this done, it's gonna go together super duper fast. Um, I also was thinking, how do I wanna notate that this is about a collection? Um, the best way is probably to just journal about it being a collection. And that got me to thinking about previous weeks in this project. I haven't actually marked anywhere. I decided not to do dates, which I'm really grateful for now. Um, but I also realized I didn't really put anywhere what this is about. And the probably the thing I can think of to do if I really wanna keep track um, is at the end of this, I can just tuck the prompts in and then I can kind of get a, an idea but if I go out, of, if I do like a two page spread versus a one page spread, it won't be very easy for me to kind of look through it and figure it out. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Consecutive, no, concurrent, no. Uh, sequential, no. I can't come up with the word, but I think you get the point. So what I thought is, the other thing I can do is maybe tuck like a little note or something in between like this page and this page, but in the grand scheme of things, do I care? Probably not. So I'm not gonna overthink it. I already have overthought it. I'm not gonna overthink it anymore. Okay, let's do some fusing. Let me clear the deck and we'll get that all set up. Okay, I'm ready to do this. You're gonna end up having to see the top of my head because I wanna get straight over it, um, but that's probably fine. I think you'll be fine with that. So to keep it straight and lined up, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that this is has rulers and grids on the back and I'm gonna washi down my page protector. So I have some washi here that I've been using on this board. So let me go ahead and get this all taped down. Okay, I have it washied down. I think it's pretty secure. I also have this little doodad that came with my fuse tool. Now I'm not really sure how to use this, quite honestly. Uh, it has this 
ruler and it has this kind of groove in it where you I know this fits right inside there uh, it has these little feet on the back and so I I believe its intention is to sit above the project rather than right on top and then this way you can push this through so that's how I'm using it so forgive my head I'm gonna line it all up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get her fused so I want to point out that right underneath this there is these dashed lines and so I, I lined it up with the dashed line and so I have it in, in place so I'm going to take, nope, I'm going to fill it <laughs> and then I'm going to fuse it. Woo! I can't believe I caught that. And I wonder how many of you were screaming at the screen, Kelly, you didn't fill it yet. So ugh, let's get this open. Try not to get sand all over my desk. Woo, that would have been embarrassing, but actually would it? No, it would be par for the course. It's just... How I roll. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, this is like sugar, it's super fine. And so I'm gonna put a couple scoops full because I can use as much as I want because I know where to get more. But I promise I will not steal any more natural resources from our precious Great Lake. It was a one-time one -time deal. Okay, now, oh, that is super cool. I love this. Okay, now I'm going to do all of that taping down again. Okay, now I am ready to fuse. So I'm going to run it over it once. I'm going to go not too fast, not too slow. I have learned that you kind of need to keep a constant movement. And I'm going to apply pressure. And I'm going to see how it is. And then if I need to go a second time, I will. The fear of that I have and what I've learned by mistake is that if you go over it too many times, you're going to melt the plastic all the way through and it's going to be no good. So wish me luck. Okay, let's see how I did. Well, I can feel it through the bottom. And I think just to be safe, because I am dealing with some sand here, I'm not talking about big sequins, I'm going to do a second run just below it. That's why I left um, about a quarter of an inch, because I want to be able to really make sure it's secure before I tip it upside down and try to make sure I don't shake sand out. Now I know what's going to happen when I tip it upside down to make sure that I got the it secure it's gonna some of it's gonna fall behind to the other side which I've decided I'm okay with but let me go ahead and do a second run so I'm lining it right above the paper and now I'm gonna go ahead and just fuse right across it again I'm gonna go just a hair slower because I know I have that other one to rely on. Okay, so what I'm feeling for is that I can feel kind of the, the um, texture of the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like it's scored it, but not scoring divots. I don't know what the right terminology is, but I'm just basically making sure I can kind of feel it on the other side. Not all the way through, but just enough to know that it pressed all the way down and melted those bits of plastic together. Okay, moment of truth. So let's set this aside. And I'm going to do the shake test over this board so I can... Oh boy. Awesome. I think we're good. Okay, let's get this washi off. I think it's safe to say I need new washi on this board. Let me get rid of this stuff. This piece did not want to come off. Okay, let's see how we did. Hey, we really didn't get any that went to the other side because I went right, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the camera if it'll pick it up, but I went right to the edge of the paper. There's a little gap on this side so some could sneak back and definitely on the bottom. But in the grand scheme of things, I think it's fine. But oh my gosh, I love this. I had been wanting, that's exactly what I took this sand home for. Um, one, to put it in a pretty jar, but two is I wanted to put it in my scrapbook and I th had this idea 
to make a shaker pocket with it and I love how this turned out. I love how the sand is kind of captured on the plastic so it's kind of all across it. Oh, this is so cool. This turned out way better than I imagined it would. I am loving this. What a fun project. Okay, let me clear this aside and then finish up this page and we'll be done. Okay, so this is looking fantastic. Now, just to do the last finishing touches, I have these puffy hearts on my desk. I just want to use them. I love puffy hearts, but I don't know if these are really the right. That pink one might work. That bluish color, eh. Well, I don't know if one of these is going to make it, but I do love, I love these puffy hearts. I need to get more of those. Um, okay, tags, labels. Let's get a couple of these cut apart. So I am definitely thinking of putting the word collection on here. And then I was kind of thinking maybe I'll just do a little journaling. However, I don't know if I really want to use my handwriting, which I don't have a problem with my own handwriting. I like my own handwriting. It's my handwriting. But uh, I think what I'm, I'm probably overthinking it, but I was thinking if I did, maybe it should go like this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. If I journal over this, it's kind of dark and I, I could maybe do it in white ink, but I don't have any more of this paper to test it on. And I don't know where my white pen is. Hmm. Oh, wait, uh, <laughs> here it is. I wonder how that would look. Let's test. Let's see, I can pull this. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this corner up a little. First, I need to get this pen rolling. I don't know if you guys are like this, but whenever I'm going to use a pen, I scribble it on a scratch paper, no matter what. It's just a habit. Uh, let's see. Just draw a little heart. I think it'll work. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I won't make you guys watch that. I'll have that in the final video, but or final photos. But I am just going to do one little bit of stamping here. I'm going to put the word collection. Uh, I'll journal on this. I'll have this page. Honestly, I think that might be it. This might be one of the most simple pages I've ever done. I just can't think of anything else I need to put on here besides what it is. I kind of want this to stand alone, stand on its own for what it is in this feature here. I don't really want to add anything to that as well. So I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'll stamp, I'll journal, and I'll call it good. Okay, so I did a test run that was comical. Um, I also realized I forgot to get my chamois wet and then I figured out I have a bottle of water on my desk. So I solved that problem. So I got my chamois wet. Um, I have these little stamps, these little wooden kind of typewriter stamps that uh, I kind of forget about. And so I thought I really wanted this to kind of have a messy typed look almost. So I grabbed these. I also have this other box. Um, these ones are a little bit, I can open it up. They're larger, which I know wouldn't work. I honestly don't think I've ever used them. Let's see, what does it look like? Hmm. I don't know, I don't know about those. Let's just put those back in the box. I've never used them. I have no idea where I got them from, how long I've had them. And then I also had this set and I thought I could use this. This is uh, smaller, so if this didn't work, I was gonna default to that, but I think I can make this work. It might be a little messy, but I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this off and uh, I'm gonna get right over it so you don't need to see my head, so I will be back when this is all done. Okay, it worked. I love it and I spelled it correctly. I intentionally rolled that out. So let's get that aside. And that's gonna go right here. Take that down. Very simple. It's kind of made me think of like one of those specimen boards or something like with butterflies pinned on it. Um, so that's, yeah, it kind of has a very um, scholastic kind of vibe to it almost. So I am just gonna go ahead and finish out my journaling and then I will show you guys some photos here at the end. Um, not much to it, but yeah. So thanks. 
friends, thank you for sticking around with me for another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this pocket art challenge. And uh, if you did, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. And finally, hit that little bell so you're getting notified when new videos are posted. And up next, we have a verse, quote, or lyric. So we'll see where that takes me. But I will see you on the next video. Thanks, friends. Take care.